Hello everybody, Vanessa here from Deganya Aromatics, natural products for spirit, soul, and body. And um, natural products for the three dimensions of you. You are a spirit, you have a soul, and you live in a body. So I'm putting on my gloves. Today I am making a soap and it is called Masculine Pink. It is the fifth soap in my confetti soap series for 2020. And so right now I'm going to go ahead and get started. I have some extra gloves here in just in case I need them. In my pot I already have my butters and my oils. They are already, they are already melted. And I am working at what we call room temperature. So here, oh, let me put this on the side. Here in this pot, hopefully you can see it, I have my, my lye. Which are my water, my distilled water, my lye, sugar, and my sodium hydroxide. No, no, I'm, I'm sorry, and my sodium lactate. My my bare error there. And before I get started here, I am going to put on my goggles to protect the eyes. And the purpose of the rosemary antioxidant is to help the with oil rancidity because oils do good, go bad. So I'm just going to stir that in just for a moment. Can you see that? I love it. It smells so good. This is coconut milk powder. I love the way I love coconut milk powder and I love the way it feels. So I'm going to add this in and I'm just going to make sure it's well incorporated. So my apologies for the noise. What I am going to do is I'm going to add in my, my lye water and I am going to just tip this just a little bit to avoid splashing. I need to move this back so you can really see. So I just tip my pot just a little bit just to avoid splashing. And also I have found at least for me, this particular technique, it helps me to avoid air bubbles. There it is. I just want to get this to the point of emulsification. That means where, if you can look here, there is no separation between the oils and the water. And then I'm going to split this up to... Um, the two pots. That is good. And let's get out as much as we can. I am adding in pink embeds. I'm just going to stir, lightly stir this. I'm going to add in, this is pink Brazilian clay, the very, very gentle clay for the skin. And I have my fragrance oil in here. And I'm going to add this one in. And we're whisking this around. I'm going to pour this here. Oops. Eek. Yick. It fell. It, it poured over. Okay. And I'll pour this one here. I never said I was a, a neat soaper. I just soap. And I'm going to pour some of this over here. I'm going to raise it up. Ready? Something just fell there. And I don't think this may not be thick enough. There and a little bit more here. So we'll go back and forth. And I'm just going to finish up whatever's left. 
This one looks like it's still low. And I'm going to put this in here. I'm going to go down, right? I'm going to go up, come up, come up, come up, come up, come back out. And that should be good. That's my first one. Okay, that's the first one. So the ideal behind my confetti soap series is that to make a series of confetti soaps <laughs> that um they're all different. They're still confetti soap, but they have their own uniqueness. And I'm gonna do this one here. Yeah, I'm spilling stuff all over the place. This one here. And my final one, I'm not sure if you can see this. And this one here. I think it's just gonna have an interesting look. This one's a little shorter than the other ones. And not that much. And here. And here. That's finished. Need to borrow a long time. One, each one again. Getting any of the uh, bubbles out. Hopefully, I didn't mess up my my sides too bad. And one of the things I really like about these wooden these I call them wooden holders is that it keeps your mold from bowing. I am so I am anxious to watch see what they look like I think they're gonna be really cute so I cover them up with a towel and then I cover the soap with a piece of cardboard and hoping that it doesn't get any soda ash I also covered it and it did get soda ash but not a lot piece of saran wrap and then additional ah cleaned it out Oh. oh, that was hard. I'm moving this to the side. And now, hopefully you can see my soap. It's very, very nice. Doesn't look pretty. You want this soap? If you can see it, it's coming to loose pretty nicely. This part, ugh, I hate when that happens, but it does. I don't know if it's perfectly ready. I'm going to try this one. If this one's not ready, what I am going to do is leave it alone, wait another day. That also tells me the other ones are not ready. And then proceed again. So I have my... It doesn't feel soft right now. Let's see if it comes out, how easily it comes out of the mold. So I'm going to... I'm just holding the mold open so it can get some air. And I'm going to press. Feels like it's coming out okay. There we go. I don't have a lot of residue in the mold, which is good. I like that part. So here is the, it still feels a little soft. I'm gonna test it. I have my gloves on so I don't get any fingerprints. And we can see the soap now, right? Mm, it smells wonderful. I really like this fragrance. So I'm moving this out the way, and what I wanna do is I am going to cut off a half an inch here and a half an inch here. Okay, do I have it? Good. And cut a half an inch off on one side. And there we go. What do you think? I think I like this. It's pretty neat, right? Okay, and I'm turning this around. off the other side oh that is pretty I'm liking this what do you think I think it's pretty
So what we have here is, I'm just gonna test the weight of the soap because I am estimating it's gonna be about a, when it finishes completely curing, it's about a four ounce soap right now. This is what happens when you're short. 5.2 ounces. That one's hard to read too, but they're over five ounces. I think it's 5.25. So what will happen over a period of time, as the, as the water evaporates, the soap will get harder, and it'll give me better lather, and the bar will, the bar will get small, smaller, but it will be, a, I know that by the end of this, it's gonna be a four ounce bar of soap. So I am really happy on how this came out. Vanessa here from Degania Aromatics, natural products for the three dimensions of you. You are a spirit, you have a soul, and you live in, your, in a body that is fearfully and wonderfully made just for you. Thank you for joining me, and I will see you on my next broadcast. Um, in the meantime, stay safe and be abundantly blessed. Thank you so much.